My name is Stacy Eberschlag, and now we're about to start cleaning up our character. And before we clean up our character, I like to sort of add any additional stuff into my blank rig template that I may not have created when doing our basic character template. Our basic character template has the basic stuff, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, etc. But we've got additional pieces. For instance, we never made a belt, a belt buckle, a cuff, a boot cuff, these sorts of things. So I'm going to start off with just doing the head. Now to add a drawing, there's several ways of doing it. And I'm going to start with just teaching you a little bit of shortcuts. I want to add four pieces of hair because this is going to be a piece of hair, this is going to be a piece of hair, this one and this one. And to do that, I can press Command or Control, depending if you're on a Mac or a PC, R. Now look at what happens. When I do this, I can name it. So I can call it Hair 1, Add. My next one, I can just change this number, 2, Add. 3, Add. And 4, Add and Close. And now we have four simple drawings that are already named that I can place side by side and I'm going to take them and add a peg. To add a peg on all the layers your hotkey is going to be command shift P or control shift P if you're on a PC and I'm going to highlight all these and I'm going to put a master peg on them. Command P and I'm going to call that hair master peg. Now, that hair master, I know would go to my head master, because when I move my head, the hair is going to follow. So let me just collapse this window for a second, zoom out, and take a look. That's my face master peg, and there's my head master peg. I'm going to run a cable into that, and I know by looking at it, the hair is layered below the head. So I'm going to just take these, First, add them to a comp, control copy, control paste. I can copy and paste composites. We'll call it the hair comp. And I'm going to put that and that and that and that into the composite. And they're going to layer it onto the head comp at the very bottom. I'm going to grab that port and put it at the very bottom of the comp. The right side is the bottom, the left side is the top. Now what else do we have on this head? Well, pretty much we've got everything in here, except for maybe this little patch here. We'll call this patch the face patch. So again, I'm gonna do Command R. We'll call it the face. Add and close. Now it may have already attached to the composite. Yes, it did. I'm going to put a peg on that, control P, and I'm going to attach that, I'm just going to bring that up, now maybe I'll put the face, these are his eyes, so I'll put the face maybe underneath the mouth, I'll move this stuff over a little tiny bit, and I'm going to put that to the face master, and that would pretty much cover off any additional stuff that we have on our character. Well, that's not exactly true. We have this little piece of chin. So let's do another one right here. Control P, call it chin. And again, that's probably attached itself to the comp. Whoops, where did you go? Sometimes, well, maybe I didn't do it. Let's just do this. Drawing, add, close. If I hit O, well, it didn't take me to it. Funny enough, where did you go? Oh, it's because I was, it went outside. Let's just take it from outside. Control copy. And you notice I, or control X, you notice I, to get outside of your group, you press this button. To go back inside, you press this one. Goes out, goes back in. And I'll just quickly put control R, chin, and put that on a peg. And that might go to the face peg. And 
I'll put that on the head comp. And that pretty much covers everything that would be head related. Thanks for watching.